What's up guys, Owned by Tomato here. With the Vive shipping in 3 to 5 business days now, I felt like it was time for an updated list of the top 5 games currently released for the HTC Vive. Now, keep in mind, these are my own personal opinions. You guys may have your own thoughts and opinions, but these are the ones that I keep going back to that I keep wanting to play. I've bought and played a lot of the Vive games released so far. These are the ones that I have had the most fun with. So starting at number 5 we have Battledome. Battledome is priced at $14.99 on the Steam store. Battledome is a fun first person shooter game that has been recently released for the Vive. I was hesitant to try it at first because of the graphics. They looked, well to be honest, pretty cool. But like Minecraft you shouldn't judge a game by its graphics alone. After seeing all the hype that this game generated, I decided to give it a try. Before I knew it, two hours had gone by and I was ducking, leaning, teleporting, cussing up a storm trying to kill the other team. This game offers an experience that hasn't been seen in a lot of VR games released thus far. A solid multiplayer experience. It takes the basics of all classic first person shooters and translates the game modes into a fun and entertaining game. You can hop in and play one game or get fully engrossed and end up spending 3-4 to four hours playing all the different game modes before you realize how long you've been in there. There are plenty of different game modes, guns, weapons for you to try out to keep you entertained for quite a while, especially for $14.99 you're gonna get your money's worth. Coming in at number 4, we have Hover Junkers. Hover Junkers is priced at $34.99 on the Steam store being one of the highest priced Vive games released so far. Hover Junkers graphics are very solid compared to the rest of the VR games released so far, and it offers a first person shooter experience that is very hard to match, and as so it is priced as such. I feel like after the recent update, the $34.99 price tag is not too far out of question. Hover Junkers before the recent update was a solid game, but one that I stayed away from because I'd go in and just get absolutely demolished. I had no way of practicing my aim before heading into PvP, and because of that I got destroyed by people who had played for a while already. But now with the addition of Buzzbot Battles, where you can play solo or with friends to fight waves of bots that spawn, it offers a solid way to practice up on your aim before heading into the arena. With a unique gun switch mechanism, very very unique reload load system, ducking dodging mechanics, this game will have you sweating and working without even realizing. Coming in at number 3 on my list, I have Pool Nation VR. Pool Nation VR is priced at $19.99 on the Steam store. Pool Nation is the one game on my list that has not focused around guns or projectiles in some way, shape, or form. Unless that is, if you count the darts or the cue ball. Pool Nation is a very fun and relaxing game where you can jump in and get fully immersed in the bar scene around you. The environment can for the most part all be interacted with and the matchmaking system is very fun to play with friends or strangers. If you're looking for a game to help relax and unwind at the end of the day, this game would be it. You can casually play pool against the AI, play games like darts, build dominoes, break beer bottles, etc. while waiting for your turn, or you can test your skills in multiplayer matches where you can see the opponent's VR gear and controllers that enable both voice communication and gestures that really make it feel like you were in the bar with the person. That is, if they were a floating Vive headset. Coming in at number 2 on my list is Hordes. Hordes is priced at $15.99 on the Steam store. Hordes is a first person zombie shooter and my favorite out of the currently released zombie games. This one has many different levels of difficulty and levels to play through to test your zombie slayer skills. The gun switching mechanic can be clunky to pick up at first, but once you get it down it's very quick to switch between your guns in order to obliterate the zombies. And how can you go wrong with dual wielding katanas? This one comes in at number 2 for me because it really tests my abilities. I wasn't able to go in and jump straight to the hardest level and beat it. I am slowly progressing through the difficulty levels as I get more accurate and comfortable with switching guns in certain situations. The sound and lighting is eerie and builds suspense, and the giant zombies seem to pop up out of nowhere and will be right in your face as soon as you turn around. This game does a good job of really keeping you on your toes and concentrating on fending off the waves of zombies as you progress through the level. And finally, coming in at number 1 on my list is Hollow Point. Now, Hollow Point is listed at $14.99 on the Steam store. Hollow Point comes in at number one for me because this game is the game that I keep coming back to no matter what. The premise is very simple. It's a wave style shooter, you have a bow, and you shoot blocks that spawn before they explode. As you shoot the blocks, they will return a shot as they explode that you have to dodge or shoot. The way the waves ramp up in difficulty is what makes this game feel satisfying and enjoyable. There are currently two bosses to face, and as the waves progress you get a mix between both cubes and warriors coming at you from all angles. This game leaves me completely out of breath and feeling like I really had to work to get to whatever wave it was that I got to. For me it is the perfect example of room scale VR. It makes you concentrate on many different reflexes in order to do well 
and has you moving around the room working to stay alive. There's something so addicting about this that I can't quite put into words. Being able to move, duck, dodge, run around, it just makes you feel amazing. It makes you feel like you're actually accomplishing something. So there it is guys, that's my top five list. Uh, there are many other good games out there for the VR so far, but these are the top five, as I said, that I keep coming back to, that I keep having the most fun consistently with. If you have a different opinion, go ahead and post it in the comments below. Let me know what your scale is, what games you think are top five currently right now. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for top five lists of the Vive games released each month and let's play of games as they are being released. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. This has been Owned by Tomato. Later, guys.